some help in the idea of how to size a battery for consumption. Now this is a little different than battery backup usage. Battery backup has to deal with the use of what you're trying to back up and that kind of falls into two things. How much the surge ability is and how long we run, run those items. This is different in the idea that we are trying to offset what pg e or your electric provider would be providing. So we kind of run off some philosophies. This is a simplified version of what I do every day. Uh, what this allows us to do is to kind of have an easy way for you to go into a customer's home and find out roughly the size battery they need, okay? Now this is really important to understand, this is not precise. This is kind of more like a shotgun kind of design, but it allows you very easily to go and understand best how to help your customer get out what they need in a NEM3 environment, okay? Mainly what we need to start with is the annual electric usage. So you're gonna take their last year's bills, you're gonna add all that up over that time and get their annual usage, okay? And let's just say that's 10,000 kilowatt hours, okay? So we need to find out how much that trickles down to an average usage per day. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky because normally there's a giant curve in how usage works all through the year. We're gonna get an average and kind of try to help, you know, just kind of get the best we can. So there's not a precise, and like I said, more of a blunt object. But what it allows us to do is we take the electrical usage, we're gonna divide that by 365 days of the year, that will get us our X, which is the amount of power in kilowatt hours they use per day. Now, in most of this, the research we've done, we find that on average, about 50% of the power that you produce at any one time goes into the house. The rest of that gets pumped back to your utility grid. So what we want to do is we want to come up with a battery to offset that principle, you know, off, offset that, that problem. So we need to find a battery that will make up for half of your usage. Once we've found that number, the average daily amount that we have, we want to divide it in half because remember about 50% of it's used in the house, about 50% is going back to the grid. Now what we want to do is at that point, that gives us our battery size. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with 10,000 kilowatt hours. So we have 10,000 kilowatt hours. We're going to divide that by the days of the year. So that's 365. At 365, we get 27 kilowatt hours per day. So we're gonna go ahead and equal it out. 27 kilowatt hour per day. My, you know, a little minutia on the back of 0.39. But then we're gonna divide that in half Okay, so we take that number, we divide it by two. Uh, that gives us 13.69 kilowatt hours of a battery size. So hopefully this helps guys. We, this is a real simplified version. We are going to have a question and answer um, video that we're gonna be putting out that you'll be able to be involved in. So write down your questions and then hit us back or leave them in the comments below.